Hey everybody, Bezat here alongside Risa. Hey everyone. And today we're going to tell you everything you need to know about the brand new Salvaged Salvage Denim, the latest release part of the Naked Famous Denim Fall Winter 2022 collection. You're going to get the whole rundown, the story, the specs, the details, you name it. So stick around all the way to the end of the video and Risa's going to start us off with the specs. Right. So Unfortunately, I don't have the jean with me today, but let's pretend that we do. This is a 12 and a half ounce Japanese salvage denim, and it is a pretty classic dark indigo warp with white weft, red salvage ID. This denim has been rinse washed, and the reason why is the story behind the salvage salvage. Right, so typically we don't rinse wash a lot of denim, a lot of jeans, but for this particular denim, we had to. And that's because it was basically damaged by natural disaster. Mm -hmm. So in 2018, in the Okayama region of Japan, where a lot of our denim mills are, uh, it was hit by some, some crazy typhoons, a lot of rainfall, this caused some mudslides, and this inevitably damaged a lot of smaller mills, even larger mills, but some of the smaller mills that we work with, machines were ruined, inventory, the, the denim was covered in mud and water and just essentially wrecked. I mean, a lot, a lot of places would have just taken this fabric and tossed it. I mean, it would have been, it would have been waste, but you know, we didn't want to see that happen. So essentially what we did was we took that fabric. It went through like a boiling water wash to kind of clean off any of the, the dirt and gunk that was, was built in there, mm -hmm. washed again, re-rolled and then shipped all the way to Montreal, Canada, where we're from and, you know, cut, made and sewn into some jeans. Right. So the hot wash uh, essentially removed all the bacteria and stuff like that. So there is no health concern to mm -hmm. the fabric, but uh, this this fabric has gone through a, a lot of, you know, trauma. So mm -hmm. it has some discoloration, some small spots of like starch hardening. And, you know, it, this, this fabric is not perfect. I think that's kind of what makes this denim so interesting. You know, being in the raw denim world, we're so used to wearing our jeans for months on end, getting them dirty, you know, little rips and tears and things like that. It doesn't bother us. It, it, in fact, it adds to you know, the story of our jeans. And I know it's a little cliche to say that, you know, but it's true. I mean, the, the, everything that goes into that denim builds a story about that denim. And this particular denim originally went through a lot of trauma. It's crazy that this would have been discarded mm -hmm. and instead now we're making jeans out of it. But I think it's a pretty interesting story. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, another thing to note, I think, is that uh, th there are some certain large uh, mills, denim mills in Japan that are very famous and established and stuff like that. But in fact, a, a lot of this denim industry in Japan is supported mm -hmm. by very small independent uh, mills that are family run, you know, very old equipment, mm -hmm. um, stuff like that. So they have been hit the hardest in, in by this disaster in our opinion and they are actually the ones who helps us be more creative when it comes to making weird denim that nobody yeah. ever made before and stuff like that so we wanted to contribute in any small way that we could and this was also part of the the reason why we decided to right. make this gene so uh so the salvage salvage uh it's got a what, there's a lot of really neat details in the gene itself. Um, you know what, we talked about the little kind of discolorations and stains and things like that you might find. Um, but one thing I think is kind of neat, maybe it's too nerdy, I don't know. Uh, so usually with a rinse wash gene, it has a particular look to it because when you're washing denim, typically you make the gene and then you wash the gene. So it goes into a, like a, a, a bundle of jeans go into like a giant washing machine and comes out and they're rinse washed. And when you look at that jean, like along the seams, you see a little bit of puckering because the denim shrinks a little bit and the, and the stitching shrinks at a different rate. So you get this kind of, you know, washed jean look. But with this, you get the washed jean look from the denim, but the raw denim look from the thread because it hasn't been washed yet. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very clean looking throughout. And I, I think it's kind of a, I think it's kind of a nerdy, neat detail. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And the wash denim look is, is it's a very beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Like the warp, you know, puffs up a little bit so that you don't see a lot of the weft coming through. You don't see a lot of white on the surface. Right. And the blue becomes very, you know, vibrant right. and, you know, prominent. Right. Cl classic blue tone. And, you know, those for, of you might be wondering, like, is this still raw denim? Like, I would consider it raw denim. This is essentially the same as you taking that, you know, a raw jean that you just bought and doing a soak and then wearing it, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it, it maybe it's a little bit more complicated than original soak, but 
it didn't go through any kind of, uh, you know, special wash treatment to, you know, add distressing, that type of thing. So because we're starting with still basically a blank canvas, Mm -hmm. these are still going to fade, they're still going to wear, and they're still going to age just like any other raw denim would. They're just going to be a little bit softer and a little less rigid right off the bat because that starch has been washed out of the fabric. Right. And uh, I mentioned that it is a 12 and a half ounce mm-hmm. denim in the beginning. Uh, and on the flasher, some, might, some of you might have noticed that it says it's 14.5 ounce. Yeah. So sometimes typos happen. Yes. And this gene, the, the pocket flasher, it says 14 ounces. We realized that a little bit too late. Um, but instead of reprinting it, because it kind of felt like, you know, we, we, these these misprinted flashes would have to be discarded Mm -hmm. we just said you know what let's just use it and let's go with it and i think it kind of fits in with the spirit Mm -hmm. of the denim and speaking of like fitting with the spirit of the denim the leather patch Mm -hmm. so the leather patch is made from a recycled leather it's not a vegan leather it's a recycled leather so basically it's kind of like particle board so they take a bunch of scraps of leather and they compress it down so that they have a you know a, a chunk and there's a little bit of a backing to it as well and then we press uh you know our, our tragic blonde logo in there as well mm-hmm. so there's a lot of salvaging of things uh right. going on in uh, in this gene yeah right and the name salvage salvage yeah. of course comes from all of those things and also funny story i know i'm gonna be i know i'm rambling on at this point but this is one of my really one of my favorite stories early in the days of naked and famous denim you know brandon and i we'd go to a lot of you know we'd go to department stores and we'd go to magazines and we'd meeting with buyers and editors and all, all these kinds of people and we're telling them about the brand we're very excited and sometimes you get kind of this dumb look on someone's face like you know uh, I, I don't get it and we're like do you, like do you know what salvage denim is and it's just a very basic question and they're like yeah like very arrogantly they're like yeah of course it's like re- it's like recycled salvaged denim you know and we're like, no, not, not at all. No, that's, that has nothing to do with it. And so then we'd explain it and th- so on and so forth. But now, now we actually have a salvaged, salvaged denim. So to all you, uh, you know, people we met in the past that we kind of made fun of, there you go. You're, you're, right, you're, you're right after all. You're right <laughs> after all. So uh, that's that. These jeans are going to be available in our classic uh, three main menswear fits. Mm-hmm. So the super guy, the weird guy, and the easy guy. And as always, we've got a blog post linked right here in the description with a complete listing of our retailer availability. So you're going you're gonna to know where you're going to get a pair. This is a pretty limited production. There's not a lot of retailers with this one. So if you want to get it, you got to get it. This will never... Well, this particular fabric will never be done again. We mm-hmm. actually have a couple of other batches that came from, uh, you know, the salvage, salvage project. So uh, if you like this one, grab it. We, eventually, we'll release some more down the line. Mm-hmm. And um, is there anything else I forgot? No. No. Just uh, if you have any questions mm, right. about all this, and I know it's been a long video. <laughs> um, uh, uh, ask questions in the comment section below. Yeah. And yeah, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know what you think about rinse wash denim and this whole salvaged salvage project. I, I think it's pretty cool. I maybe I, I want to see what you guys think about it as well. And uh, lastly, I know I'm rambling on at this point, but lastly, this gene wasn't part of the main fall winter 2022 collection Mm -hmm. like we have that fall winter 2022 collection video this is more of like a quick strike kind of release Mm -hmm. you know just a last minute last minute kind of decision that we that we wanted to add in uh you know small project there's a couple more of these smaller projects coming out this season if you want to learn more about these things um be sure to tune in to our live stream. You know, we, we preview a lot of product there. You know, if you're part of our live stream community, then you definitely know about these jeans or knew that these were coming. Uh, so if you want to know about previews, secret stuff that's going on, new collaborations that are in the works, mm-hmm. check us out Friday evenings at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so you can ask us questions live and uh, yeah, get the inside track. Yeah. All right, so we'll leave it there. Before you go, hit the like button, hit subscribe, tell a friend and have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye.